giving you a voice. Making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Um, stats for this week, Nick has them up right here. Um, you can see the Houston ones on the left. So this week we had 1,496 total matches between these 25 teams, um, a 77.14 win percentage which is almost 60 matches per team. So I don't know if maybe a few more districts in here. I'm not yeah, sure. It must be. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, we, so we had 98 different teams that made the top 25 on, in the Detroit list. And last week we had 97 different teams. So pretty exciting. Uh, how many different teams we were able to talk about this year. Um, so the top 25 teams for um, divisions, um, we have four that are in Archimedes five that are in Carson, five in Darwin, two in Tesla. There are no top 25 teams in Daly um, and nine, nine teams in Curie. <laughs> so uh, we got wind of that as Waited that was much? going on. <laughs> yeah, I think from 148 from, from Adrian and, and from Nick, they said, hey, did you see the divisions are out? We're like, what? No. <laughs> and uh, so that was kind of fun. So um, top 25 this week is going to be kind of just a little different than normal. It'll just be, as you can tell, Justin isn't here. He's um, has made it to Detroit with his team. Um, so it's kind of going to be me just not doing the whole thing by myself. And um, I miss Justin, but Tyler's going to um, interject. Um, a little as color well can. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. So um, thank you guys for sticking it out with us. Um, I think that was great discussion on, on Houston, and I look forward to, to next week as well. So I hope that wasn't a spoiler, as H. Lee, 1975, just said, oh, none in daily. So, yeah, yeah, I was saying, uh, no, I, everybody I, leaves. I'm sorry. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. Way to kill our audience. I'm really, I apologize if you're, there was just some stats. But All right, so that being said, our 25th ranked team is going to be 5172, and they're from Greenbush, Minnesota, and Greenbush Middle River Senior High School. It's the Gators. They have an overall record of 28-3, and three, and they were the winners of the Great Northern and Minnesota 10,000 Lakes Regional. So we last saw the Gators in the in the week five top 25, and here they are. And they take our, our first or last place kind of in the Detroit top 25 with two regional wins. They also took the number one seat at both of these events as well. And they have a dual-sided intake for cargo um, and hatch panels. And I kind of call it the drywall anchor. Um, it's more than just two. I think it has like four that come out when they grab it. Uh, they can play through some tough, tough defense as well. So congrats to the, the Gators on their top 25. And they'll be in the Carson division. So good luck to them. So Gators are a team I actually didn't get a chance to see too much this year, but they've definitely been our, on my radar in previous years. Uh, 2016 Robot was one of my favorites uh, out on the field, and uh, my old team, uh, 2026, paired up with them uh, their rookie year in 2014. So a team uh, from a city of only a few hundred. Uh, in 5172, I will do my best to remember stop by your pit because I know uh, somebody from your team reached out about the uh, cool uh, documentary that was made. Uh, in regards to anything, it's called Small Town Robot, something like that. So uh, Small Town Robot from a state that a lot of times doesn't get enough love and definitely getting some great recognition uh, by our fantastic voters. So 51, Which is so odd because of yeah. the the dual regionals they have. And, um, yeah, they just have a lot of teams in there. So They do, but honestly, Minnesota, I mean, it, the truth is that Minnesota's been associated with weak teams for a long time, and they're starting to get some good teams here. Obviously, yeah. 5172 leading the pack uh, and doing quite well in that, but – that's kind of been the reality for it and they're starting to get more now yep all right so moving on to our 24th ranked team that's going to be team 225 from york pennsylvania it's tech fire they have an overall record of 39 12 and 1 and they were the winners of the fma district championship so after a semifinal outing at the springside chestnut hill event uh, we last saw Tech Fire in the week six top 25 when they competed at the Montgomery event, where they seated second with a 2.58 ranking score average as well as selected to the number one alliance uh, and will go on to win. Two weekends ago at the FMA District Championship, they would again rank second and this time would captain that alliance and go on um, to beat uh, seven, three, and uh, the fifth alliances to win the event. They have, a, like I, I call it like a one and three quarters hatch auto to the rocket. They're just almost there with the second hatch. <laughs> Um, ready to ready to place right as um, Teleop begins, or right as um, ready to play starts. So um, they stand tall through defense. They have a great reach their, um, with their manipulator. They can reach um, far uh, with their game pieces. A great season for te um, 225 Tech Fire, and they look to keep it going. They'll be in the Darwin division. So congrats and good luck yeah. to them. Um, just to answer a comment from Chad, if you are new to the FRC Top 25, these are based on community votes, which we received uh, about 660 uh, submissions for. Uh, so you get to uh, submit 
uh, your top 25 teams, in this case, uh, for what would have been all teams attending both championships. Uh, and that's how we did the breakdown uh, for this. So none of these are our picks or our submissions or anything like that. I kind of make my own internal list uh, of things, and sometimes I'll comment on that. But otherwise, it's based on what the community votes. Uh, and that's the way that we go for something like this. Uh, 225, I think, it is, is a good team. Are they great elite? No, I don't think they're quite there yet, uh, but definitely a very solid team uh, nonetheless. And, of course, uh, I, I think great strategy goes along with it that we see in a couple teams as well, too. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. So moving on to our 23rd ranked team. That's going to be Team 1796 from Queens, New York, and Queens Technical High School. It's the Robo Tigers. They have an overall record of 40 and 8, and they were the winners of the Hudson Valley, the SPPLI 2, and the New York City Regionals. So an amazing season for the Robo Tigers. We kind of have talked them, talked about them at length um, several times over the season as they made the top 25 in weeks five and six. And now again here. So three regionals back to back to back, and they would win them all. Um, once as an alliance captain, um, one selected the number two alliance, and one selected the number one alliance. So that first one was they were the number one alliance. So uh, we kind of talked about how they might be underrated this far down, um, but versus, quote, weaker regionals. But uh, I do expect them to go um, pretty far as they'll com be competing on Carson um, this weekend in, in Detroit. So congrats um, and good luck to 1796, the Robo yeah, Tigers. I definitely had 1796 up a few more uh, spots, uh, in my opinion. I, I, I had them, uh, I think, around 1718 uh, overall. I think they're a team, though, that you know, a lot of people just don't, you know, are they're not too familiar with. They're from New York, honestly, which I think kind of gets flooded a lot. Uh, in the uh, what what is Justin called the the Greater New York District or whatever the joke is on that, uh, but oh yeah, the New York District. Yeah, yeah I, York so. Uh, you know, I think 1796 is just uh, gets a little bit buried. I think they're a fantastic machine. Once again, I don't think they're an elite machine, but I think they're they are uh, right on the higher end of a tier two machine uh, for something like that. And I think they could they could go uh, pretty far. Uh, you know, they're they're in uh, Carson. Is that correct? Um, uh, sorry, I just headed up. Um, yeah, yeah, Carson. Um, so in Carson, I, I you know I think there are some great shots for something like that where they could pair up uh, with a, a few other teams that I think could really make it happen. So uh, looking forward, I, I I think they'll seed probably within like the top six or something like that. I, I don't really know based off the uh, scheduling, but for me, that's kind of where I have them uh, in their division. So good luck to them. Mm -hmm, for sure. All right, so moving on to our 22nd ranked team. That's going to be team 5406 from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada, and Bishop Ryan Catholic Secondary School at Celtex with an overall record of 45 and 10, they were the winners of the Ryerson District event. So Celtex is the first of many Ontario teams you will see in the top 25. And here at 22, they enter the Archimedes uh, division uh, after a really great season. So they started the Ryerson event where they would seed number one and would win there. At the McMaster event, they would seed two, captain that alliance, but lose to the tough 2056, 1241, 6070 alliance. Two weekends ago, the Ontario Provincial Champs, um, they would rank fourth um, in the stacked field there. Um, it would be selected number two overall. They would once again face the 2056 um, in the finals and would take home uh, the technology division finalist and medal. So great season for Celtex. Uh, it's a team that um, we have been on the top 25 every year, it seems. We talk about them a lot. Um, they're really in that, um, you know, behind the obvious 11, 14, 2056, the 1241, you know, Celtex is up there uh, along with some others too. So mm -hmm. um, congrats and good luck to them. They'll be in the Archimedes division. You know, somebody said they should be 10 spots higher. I actually uh, respectfully disagree with something like that. I do think Celtex is a good team, but I think they're going to run into some difficulties in the Archimedes uh, division. I think there are some other teams that can really give them a run for their money. Some of them we'll be talking about uh, on here in a little bit. And I actually think Celtex uh, might... Uh, they might be one of the teams you see limited in the quarterfinals potentially. And this is not a knock against Celtex, but I think they might end up in something like uh, like a number uh, five or six seed or something like that. And so I'm, I'm hoping for Celtex. I think they are a fantastic team. Uh, like I said, not trying to knock them, but uh, I do like to call it out as I as I believe it is. Uh, and I, I hope Celtex can overcome a lot of, I, I think, adversity is what will come out of the Archimedes division and good luck to them as well. Mm -hmm. All right, so our 21st ranked team all the way from Israel is going to be 1690 from Abun Yamina, Hazafan, Israel. It's Orbit. They have an overall record of 38 and 11. They were the semifinalists at the Israel District Championship. So our first Israel team makes the Detroit Top 25 here at number 21. No wins this year um, in Israel for Orbit, which was kind of really surprising to me. Yeah. Um, at the number one event, they would rank number one, but lose in the finals. And at the number four event, would also rank number one, but lose in the semifinals. Um, at the Israel District Championship, 
excuse me, back in April. They would finish second and be selected number one overall again, but again um, lose in the semifinals. Um, they have a better robot than like their record shows. Uh, they have like a two hatch rocket auto. They can score game pieces really fast. So kind of just a little baffled about what happened to them um, this year. I know you could probably go back to the Israel recaps that are on YouTube as well. But um, so just keep a lookout for them. They'll be on Darwin. Um, maybe you know finally be able to kind of have some better success there and we'll see, but congrats and, and good luck to orbit. Yeah. Uh, you know, orbit has had some, uh, uh, breakdown issues, uh, at Israel and Israel is always an interesting district that, uh, or that you end up seeing the district championship where it is not surprising oh. when top teams do not win. I think orbit still has a fantastic machine. I think their ceiling is very high uh, for potential. And I think somebody mentioned that they haven't won an event since 2016, which is, that's that's crazy if that's the case because uh, Orbit I think is a fantastic team and I think they're one of these teams where where they ended up is not necessarily representative of how they might perform at championships. Uh, so uh, I'm looking for big things out of Orbit uh, as they go in uh, and I can't wait to ho see how they do in uh, Darwin, uh, which I I think they have a decent chance to move far. They're going to run up uh, you know against. Uh, I think Shakers in your division off the top of my head uh, and a few other teams as well, too, that can uh, really make it have 37, 07, 19, 18, that sort of thing. So they might uh, be one of those teams that kind of fall Celtex a little bit, too, uh, where they uh, might end up in that that kind of uh, four to six range. And we'll, we'll see how that works out for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, cool. So I uh, uh, just wanted to give a shout out. Where are we? Um, so these next three teams are all from Michigan. Uh, just like as we said, with uh, limited time this week and without Justin, uh, I reached out. And uh, I want to thank Nick Jr. <laughs> from uh, the Infimidation, uh, who has helped me out with these next three uh, write-ups for these Michigan teams. So I just want to say uh, Well, we are in 20, by the way. Just a heads up, Mike. Oh, okay. Thanks. Okay. So I lied. Um, so it's 19, 18, and 17. Yes. <laughs> thank you, Tyler. Uh, but I do want to thank him, so thanks. But before we get there, um, our 20th ranked team is going to be Team 4338 from Even Yehuda Hamarkaz, Israel, and the Walberth Barber American International School. It's the Falcons. An overall record of 40 and 14, they were the winners of the Israel District Championship. So back-to-back -back Israel teams here, and the Falcons are fresh off their district championship in Israel early this month. Um, one crazy stat for them, um, out of their three events, they've made it to the finals at each. Um, they were winners at the number one event, finalists at the number three event. Um, but out of these events, they have gone to three matches in six out of their nine playoff rounds, <laughs> which I thought was pretty crazy. So the three events out of the playoff rounds, so they have nine playoff rounds because they were in the finals of all three. Um, they, they went to three matches at six of those times, which I thought was pretty wild. So, um, a well-experienced and successful team this year. I believe they're, um, I believe they're just, they're just a ground game, low scoring robot. Uh, but we've really seen how successful that those robots, those types of robots can be. So, um, congratulations to, um, the Falcons. Um, they'll be in the Tesla division, one of our two teams there, uh, and good luck. Yeah, I thought that was really wild. Pretty crazy. All right, so these next three are thanks to Nick Jr. Um, there you go. <laughs> from 4130, I believe, is uh, his tag is. So, all right. Um, so from Browns, oh, so for our 90s rig team is going to be, it's just a lot of whack. I need Justin here. Yeah. Um, our 90s rig team is team 3604 from Brownstown, Michigan, and Woodhaven High School. It's the Goon Squad. They have an overall record of 41, 22, and 2. They were the winners of the Ford Division at MSC. Um, and, and um, at the Michigan State Championship. So um, pulled from a sleeper rank at MSC in their division, this cargo killing machine went on to consistently fill the cargo ship throughout all the playoffs at MSC and played around defense like no other. These goons apparently like to do the, um, what's his face, the eating uh, thing that... Um, um, uh, these guys that like to eat are ready for the championship in Detroit. So they do the the feed me thing that um, oh sure gotcha face from um, why can't I think of it? It's total complete blank from the Cowboys. Um, Ezekiel Elliott. Wow. Um, and they'll be on the Darwin Field this year um, in Detroit. So congrats and good luck to the Goon Squad, who is new to. They're one of four teams that are new to the top twenty-five. Um, this specific week. And I think all four might be from Michigan, but I'm not, I can't remember exactly. 
Very cool. Yeah, yeah. Green Squad has a good chance, I think, to actually do quite well. They're a team that I, I think outside of Michigan, they're not well known at all. Uh, almost unheard of, to be honest with you, I think, outside of the Michigan area. So uh, looking forward to see how they do in, in Darwin, which I think uh, there is a lot of good opportunities. I could see them pairing up with like uh, 125, maybe even 225 uh, in that division. Uh, so Goon Squad, I, I think they're going to be they could fall to the second round. Um, I think there's potential for that as well. Uh, but I think if a team like 1918, the NC gears or something like that ends up seeding high, that they could end up being picked by a fellow Michigan team. So I think that's very possible yeah. uh, as well, maybe by shaker or something too. But I think this is a team that I think will, uh, get picked up in that, that kind of that danger zone, that four to seven range, or I think there's a potential that some team might get them as a steal all the way back in the second round. Yeah. Lots of love for the goon squad in the chat right now too. Yeah. So must be a uh, really turning heads there. So, all right, moving on to our 18th ring team. It's going to be team 50, 50 uh, from Carlton, Michigan and Carlton high school. It's Cowtown robotics with an overall record of 42 and 12. They were the winners of the MSC consumers energy division. Um, so they won their first chairman's award this year and never failed to disappoint in the field with the absolute killer side eject cargo mechanism. These cows from down South Michigan are a force to be reckoned with uh, and they'll be on Carson this year. So congrats and good luck to them. So this is another new um, team in the top 25, 50, 50. Um, after our conversation about two, four, six, eight team appreciate and the seven forty seven. um, Flight crew, when I first saw 50-50, I thought maybe they would they would go with that theme, like Team Chance or something, mm-hmm. but um, uh, but not so much. But so um, Cotton Robotics, um, a lot of love for a lot of love for the currently to do Moo. Oh, we got That's a lot of Michigan fans, I think, in the audience. Be one of their, their uh, cheers there. I so. mean, 25% of the teams attending champs are from Michigan, so I would expect that there's a decent uh, chunk of chat in here from yeah. Michigan. Uh, yeah. As well, but yeah, Mike, uh, 50 50, you know, uh, is a team that got knocked on the quarters in their last uh, uh, district, and then uh, they end up going with 33 uh, at MSC in the consumers' energy uh, division, uh, which is super cool uh, for that as well. And they just kind of r- really went, I mean, they were the number one seed in that division, they picked mm-hmm. 33, and I think a lot of people forget that, including myself there for a second, uh, that they were the number one seed at 11 and one. Uh, the next closest win loss wise was nine and three. They took their division with three uh, ranking points uh, for that. So very cool to see. Uh, and then them really just coming through and just continually good play from them throughout the entire way. Um, yeah. So LC from uh, Fully Free says they've really improved for MSC. They had a lot of robot issues at their two districts, but they uh, came back. So cool. Very nice. So sure we'll be seeing them again um, as they will be on the Carson field. All right, and then last one, thanks to Nick. This is um, our 17th ranked team, and it's team 1684 out of Lapeer, Michigan, from Lapeer Community Schools. This is the Chim- uh, Chimeris. Uh, with an over- Chim- Chimera. Chimera. Now, this is a funny thing because Nick Nick can relate to this because there's a, a game shop uh, where we're, we're from uh, in the area, and it's always, do you call it Chimera Hobby Shop or Chimera Hobby Shop? And it's uh, okay. it should be Chimera. So. Chimeras, thank you. Um, so a new team in the top 25 because we haven't been corrected before. So welcome to 1684. But they have an overall, overall season record of 50, 21, and 1. And they were the winners of the first in Michigan, Traverse City District, and finalists at the Consumers Energy Division at MSC. So with their flex wheel hatch mechanism, they have a killer two hatch auto um, on the cargo ship um, and or the rocket. Uh, the versatility of this team is going to make them a hot pick or an alliance captain at this year's championship, um, says Nick Jr., um, also to add, they're part of the team four bar climber that is deemed to be very consistent at each and every competition. So everyone watch out for the chimeras. They're coming into the stacked carry division um, with some work to be taken care of. So um, lots of love here for um, the chimeras as well. And uh, congratulations. All right, new hot take that the Michigan fans are going to adamantly disagree with, but watch me prove them wrong. Chimeras are going to fall to the second round uh, and get picked up uh, there. And I think that they're going to end up winning the division uh, with like a number three seed or mm-hmm. something like that. I think it's going to, I actually do think it's going to, I think Chimera is a fantastic team. Please don't get me wrong that way. They're probably our producer Nick's favorite team in Michigan because uh, they're all black. Uh, but uh, I didn't get a response from Nick in my ear. I was expecting <laughs> yesterday, no, but. Uh, uh, Okay, so this is pretty much uppercut. So, uh, uh, so yeah, definitely, uh, definitely a great machine. Uh, more and more improvement. I think they turned a lot of heads in the beginning uh, with their finals appearance. Uh, but you know, it will be interesting. Curious, so deep and so stacked that I think it could happen. I know that Michigan is saying not going to happen, but I'll tell you what. Uh, 
watch it, and uh, I think it might. You know, it'll be interesting to see on something yeah. like that. And I, mean, I know a, that I know they have a two hatch auto and that sort of thing, but it's it's crazy gonna to be, see how that happens sometimes. There's going to be a lot of teams that fall a lot later than they think. I mean, we just talked about yep. 254 picked up the 11th and 12th seeded team, so you know, but. All right, so last before our Bad Hawk giveaway, in our 16th spot is going to be Team 3683. From Waterloo, Ontario, Canada, and St. David Catholic Secondary School, it's Team Dave. We have an overall, excuse me, an overall record of 48-7-1. They were the winners of the Technology Division at the Ontario Provincial Championship. So we talk over and over about the benefits of districts, and it, it seems like Team Dave that we see the results in 3683 isn't a stranger in the top 25 and recently we've been really seeing them more and more and more um, this year they have two district wins at humber college and at waterloo and two weekends ago they entered the technology division um, in ontario district champs and they would rank third but we would be taken first overall um, and good night from there so did not score below <laughs> 100 points in the playoffs um, in their division uh, which they won and then they scored 97 and 102 in their losses to the science division um, so awesome machine from Dave this year, pairing with 2056 twice and 1114 once. Um, you know, Dave is going to have um, most of the quality Let's scoring. Strike chances. that reverse at 1114 twice, 2056 once. Oh, okay, gotcha. Thanks. Um, so you know that Dave is going to have most of the quality scoring chances being with those teams. Um, oh, no, but, I'm wrong. Mike, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. That is my fault. My bad. I read that wrong. Tyler. Sorry, man. Boo. My fault. <laughs> Um, so they just kind of take full advantage of, of the time that they have. So congrats. Um, they'll be in the Carson field this year. So look out for them. Just a really great machine from, from team Dave and the, and the students, um, at St. David Catholic secondary, man, I feel like this show is going to be Tyler pisses off teams because, uh, I like Dave, but I do think they are just a little bit slow. Uh, and I really am looking to see if they can pick up their speed a little bit. I had them closer to about, I think I have them 22 or 23 uh, in my top list. I still think Dave is a phenomenal team, but I am looking to see them pick up their cycle times uh, a little bit uh, as they uh, move through their competition. So I'm um, hoping Dave does really well. Uh, big fan of their team, no doubt. But I do think they have to pick it up a little bit uh, on the Carson division as they move on through. So, uh, you know, and it will be interesting with some of the other teams on Carson and who they can uh, pair up with. I actually don't really... Uh, Carson, I haven't researched terribly too much, um, but it'll be interesting to see uh, how Dave performs nonetheless. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.